long trip on a train, Heidi set foot in the village of Durfley with her aunt Detta. This is the girl that will live with the uncle. Rawr! <laughs> there, she was to live in a secluded cabin with her grandfather, a lone and grumpy old man. But you go back to where you came from. Once her aunt had left, Heidi had to face grandfather's anger. Mountain? That's no place for a town girl. But despite a harsh first contact, Heidi didn't lose hope. I hope that tomorrow, grandfather won't be cross anymore. little girl in the mountains you need to respect and take good care of the goats they will give you all the food you need City, I was doing all sorts of things. I dressed the table and poured the milk and got the bread. Hmm. You see, Joseph, at first, he scared me a bit, but now it's all okay. <laughs> Thank you. And your goats, Grandfather, they are such characters. What are their names? <sighs> little Bear and Little Swan. Hmm, it suits them perfectly. Hmm. Mm. What is this cheese? What went through your aunt's mind? You'll never adapt here. This cheese is strong, but it's still very good. Mm -hmm. You know, Grandfather, I really like the mountains. I had a picture of it in my bedroom, but it's much better to see the real thing. It's as if the mountains reach the sky. Grandfather, do you think you could touch the clouds if you stand at the top? Enough! Listen to me, little girl. When we're eating, there is no pointing and no talking. Hmm. <gasps> I know that sound. with your mouth. <gasps> my name's Heidi. Heidi. We met yesterday. You picked up my clothes, remember? <laughs> Cat got your tongue? His name is Peter. If he doesn't answer, it's because he has nothing to say. <laughs> He's our goat general. He's herding the goats up in the meadows. Wow! <laughs> Grandfather, could I go with him? <gasps> so I can learn how to take good care of the goats. As you said, I should. Hmm. What? But I don't even know who she is. This is my granddaughter. She comes from the city and, well, yes, she'll join you in the meadow today. But... There is no but. That's how it's going to be. <gasps> Thank you, Grandfather. Now you listen to me carefully. 
You do what Peter tells you, and you stay close to him at all times. Understood? Yes. Yes, Grandfather. And you? You are responsible for her. Mm-hmm. Good. Now get yourself some lunch, and you, Goat General, go look for Little Swan and Little Bear. <laughs> I'm a goat herd, not some town girl's nanny. <laughs> What are you barking for? If she stays here, she has to learn how to behave in the mountains. Really nice being a goat general. Did that cat get your tongue again? No, leave me alone. Hmm. I know you. Do you remember me? Huh? <laughs> We're friends already. What's her name? Listen, the uncle asked me to look after you, not to talk to you. As you spend your time grazing, I'm sure your name is Greedy. That's enough. If you give her a new name, it'll confuse her. Well, just tell me her real name then. <sighs> Lily. Thank you. Hello, Lily. Oh! <laughs> and who is this, my little sweetheart? I told you just... How did you know her name was Sweetheart? It is? I guessed it. Wait, don't tell me. Oh. Mm. Ugh, yuck, you smell bad. <gasps> wow, you're definitely not in a good mood. Your name must be Grumpy. His name is Pie, and he's not in the mood to play. He only listens to me. Hmm. Maybe it's because you're both very grumpy. Hmm. Very funny. Sorry, don't you ever have any fun? No, Goat General, that's a tough job. It's a big deal to be responsible for all the goats of the village. You take care of all the village's goats? Mm-hmm. This one's Big Turk. She belongs to Hans and Barbel, just like Pi. Lily's the Lumberjacks. Sweetheart belongs to the Grocers. Little Bear and Little Swan, well, you know. And Goldfinch is all mine. Wow, that's something. Come on, we have to move. <whistles> the meadow's at the top of this hill. Watch out! Let's get in line! Like they've heard enough orders for the day. No way! Those two always do what they want. They really are your grandfathers. Come on! Hey! No! Stop it! You can't hit them! Of course I can! No town girl tells me how to handle my goats. Please don't do that! <laughs> if you stop hitting them, I, I'll give you half of my lunch. <sighs> Half of your bread and cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you take care of them if you think you can do better. But if Little Bear and Little Swan still misbehave, I'll keep your bread and cheese and get the oh. stick out again. <laughs> Come on, we need to join the others. <laughs> How do you think she's doing? Yes, I agree. Come on, let's get little Miss Know-it-all before those two grumpy goats lead her back down the mountain. <gasps> Come on, almost there. You're doing great. Holy mountain goat! See, we 
can make it without the stick. Well, you still owe me half your lunch. For you. Hey! But I can do a lot of things too, you know. I'm sure you can. All the things a city girl can do then. Come on, let me try, please. Hmm. You should try with your two friends. Hmm. I'm going to take a bit of your milk. Hmm? <laughs> hey! Wait! <laughs> Did the milking go well? Mm. Mine has been perfect. Can you give me some? <sighs> if you promise to obey me and never ask another question. I promise. And now, time for dessert. Hmm? What's that? It's a sweet for the goats, and it's good for them too. You want to try? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yes, I forgot to tell you. It's a salt stone. Really, it's not funny. It was a joke, and you always want to try everything. You could be nicer to me. Come on, it was just a joke. And I'm nice enough to keep you here with me. Come on, Lily, that's enough. Well, it's nap time. Stay close by. Hmm. Believe it. She's worse than the goats. Little cutie, show yourself. I'm not going to hurt you. Father warn you about the Devil's Bridge. Devil's Bridge? Well, no. It's very dangerous, you know. But I was very careful. I just wanted to see this little creature. It was so cute. Look, it's not that complicated. You have to stay with me at all times. Do you understand? Maybe I'd stay with you if you weren't so mean to me. Mean? You don't get it. You could have slipped and fallen and... You? You were scared for me? Her eye 
Yes. Well, I am the GOAT General. I'm not scared of anything. If the uncle hears about what just happened, he's going to get me. I'm sorry. But you know, we can't be friends if you boss me around all the time and if I can't have my say in anything. <laughs> we have to go back now. <laughs> What? Where is Little Bear? <laughs> little Bear! Little Bear, come back here! No, wait, you're not going there too. <laughs> hey, you promised! Do you expect Little Bear to come back to you when you treat her like this? Stop talking now! You don't know anything! Little Bear! <gasps> come back here this instant! <laughs> <laughs> Going down to get her. Gently, calm down. No! Gently, my little bear. Huh? Let Peter come closer, will you? He just wants to save you. He didn't want to yell at you. He's just scared for you. That's all. Gently, my beauty, don't move. There, I've got you. She hurt her leg. I broke my oath. Your oath? A goat in good shape, thank Peter. A goat well herded. It's the goat general. The uncle will never forgive me. An accident. <coughs> well, I, we, little bear tried to. It's all my fault. Huh? Grandfather, Peter had nothing to do with it. I went near a bridge to see a little cutie and, and Peter had to leave the goats unattended to get me back. A bridge? You let her go to the Devil's Bridge? I forbade you to go there! It wasn't his fault! If I'd stayed put, Little Bear wouldn't have been hurt. How could you? Please, Grandfather, he did everything you asked him to. <sighs> Give it to me. You'll both be sorry if she doesn't hear. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Peter. What went through your aunt's mind? I told Detta that the mountain was no place for a little girl. About Little Bear? Is she going to be okay, Grandfather? It might worsen overnight. We'll have to wait until tomorrow. As punishment, you'll go to bed without dinner. Maybe that will teach you something. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, Joseph. If I don't punish her now, she'll never learn. So you can stop looking at me like that. <sighs> you win. I'm not gonna let her starve. But she won't get it for nothing, believe me. <laughs> what are those flowers for? that if Little Bear had a nice cozy bed, maybe she'd heal faster. Grandfather, I promise that from now on, I'll be a very good girl. And I'll do everything I need to earn my place here, and I will sleep with Little Bear to look after her all night. Are you hungry? Huh? A bit. What are you waiting for? Do you think the milk will pour itself? Hmm. You grab the udder like this, firmly. Then you pull while turning your hand. Your turn. <laughs> you need to hold the udder more firmly. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt her. <laughs> Grandfather, look! I did it! <laughs> look how much I got! 
Good night, little girl. Good night, grandfather. Ah. Little star, please make it so that little bear heals. Good night, little bear. <laughs>